Hello everyone, Richard Carlton here. Welcome to another awesome day of FileMaker training. It's going to be truly amazing today. We have some amazing stuff planned. It's so amazing, I'm going to say amazing five more times. Amazing, 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 amazing. So, real quick, uh, today is an experimental prototype for a Friday. We've done dead bird stuff before. We will bring that back in the future when we collect more dead bird items. But what we want to do is try something that I had done at my Christmas party at RCC. We have about 30 people and about half of them show up to this event. We couldn't do an in-person event because of all the COVID. So we did this thing called Jackbox. And Jackbox is a really fun, interactive way to play a game. And the trick is to mix having fun and um, drinking your end of the day adult beverages, right? At the same time, you're actually learning about the FileMaker platform. So it's kind of a tricky balance and we're gonna give it an attempt today. So we have, we have a set of questions that are set up. Uh, there's going to be a set of participants who have been signing up already. Um, uh, I was hoping Moki and Ellen and a couple of the uh, resident smart ass in the group would uh, come in here. And the idea is that we want to, uh, you're going to be provided each with a, just like a couple of questions, not that many questions, right? And what will end up happening is that then the computer will then present everything and everyone can vote on it. So we're going to give everyone the ability to vote and join the broadcast. So even if you're not, uh, it's like if we have eight people playing, if you like went to a taping of Jeopardy TV show, right? And you're watching that or the Wheel of Fortune or whatever you want to watch some sort of game show on TV. I don't know what they do in the EU or uh, down in Australia, but you have a game show, right? Um, you have the people are participating, then you have a studio audience. So the studio audience, the rest of us are all going to get to watch this. It's education along the way. My goal is to kind of educate people along the way while having fun. And for those of you who are really adventurous, after every question, take a drink. All right, so we're set. So Moki is there. So do we have eight people yet? Do we have eight people? We, are, we need three more people. Wow, three more people to join the group who, uh, who want to take a swing at this. So... Uh, you're going to use your call sign on this if you want. Once again, some of the questions, all the questions will have a FileMaker re uh, related bent to them. Uh, some of them are kind of like actually like legit, like a FileMaker question. And some of the questions are like, if your customer's hair is on fire and is naked down the street, what do you do? That's not a question, but that kind of, you know, like more of a subjective, what would you say, right? The goal is, once again, if you have a funny answer or something comes to you as funny, feel free to put that in. Once again, we're staying away from political stuff, religious stuff, racist stuff, anything that's going to result in us getting on the news. We don't want any of that. So anyway, so what I'm going to do is cover the housekeeping real quick on an upcoming in the future. Uh, we want to see the upcoming broadcast schedule, so I'm going to show this real quick. So welcome to FMTraining.tv, where every day we do great FileMaker training at 1 o'clock. We're going to have fun today, but we're also going to be training on the FileMaker platform at the same time. It makes for a very good social, fun engagement. The upcoming broadcast uh, today, um, this has changed. It's actually been updated uh, on the uh, Discord and on some of the other places. But it's uh, what is uh, it's not what is easy and what is hard. We kind of covered that yesterday. Today is kind of an open Q&A fun day, but it's, a ja it's Jackbox. We're playing Jackbox with FileMaker-based questions. It should be fun. Monday, Nick Hunter uh, works on dynamic uh, table of contents day one, day two. Wednesday, Joe Martin at 360 works way back talking about the Script Master plugin. It's kind of their free plugin. Does some amazing stuff. Thursday is basic document management for beginning people. And then Friday is open Q&A, but it, we might bring Jackbox. If today doesn't melt down, we might come back and do Jackbox. It should be a lot of fun. Um, yes, uh, Ken, uh, if you remember, you don't know Jack was a game or a card game or whatever. It was a really fun thing. Uh, very fun online computer game. Uh, this is the online variation of this. I think that grew into this, right? So, uh so anyway, so cool. So do we have eight people yet? No. We don't have eight people yet. So obviously we have a whole bunch of people who are obviously afraid of their own shadow and don't want to participate. So uh, David Angel's volunteering to join, I think. So that's another one. We have well, then send him the code. You guys have to have the code. You have to open a browser and put a, and put a four-digit code in in your set. That's all you have to do. Okay? Oh, Moki just joined. Oh well, good. That's that's funny. Okay, because now so once we we go now, Brian, I'm going to go ahead and switch to your screen. You want to join and uh, flip to your screen? I'm going to do that. Okay. All right. So this is what we're starting to see right here. Okay, for those of you wondering about this, so these are the people that are playing here. Um, he's the VIP. Are you wait, one, two, three, four? So are you actually going to play too, uh, or not? Yes. 
Oh, yeah, I, I'm a player in this. Yeah. Okay, but you actually help write the questions. So there you go. Okay, so that's fine. So we got Monkey Bread, which is Chris. You got Jake. These are all your little icons. Okay. Ken, Scott, Brian, uh, Jacob, or not Jacob, Monkey Bread, Jake, uh, all this. So they're going to start a ask, asking questions and stuff. So right now we're waiting for them to do. So, so that's, so this is Brian's screen. Oh, I'm not going to show Brian's screen because you're a player, right? So. No, uh, you can show show the screen that i have okay here that's that's just going to be the what everyone should be seeing and then i have a browser screen that i'm going to be writing the answers in that's not oh. uh, not visible okay so everyone should be okay so here we go are the subtitles not showing i did they are they are subtitle. on okay write your answer on your device now so all of you write your answers okay so we have 10 people in the audience but more people watching here so you can join in if you want to vote but if you just want to watch what's happening here uh this is this is great so that so the questions are questions are going to pop up and then this is your little timer up here the one we start so some of the questions are filemaker specific some of the questions are you know kind of more policy procedural wayward customers blown up servers things like that yeah we'll have to see so, you, so uh, I guess that's part of it. You have to tell it to refresh. The customer cannot connect to FileMaker server. What is the craziest thing you've seen you seem to do to fix the problem? <laughs> <laughs> connect two routers together. Is that true? Oh, my gosh. So we have to have a – can we vote? Oh, I, I have to – oh, I need to be over here on my screen. So can I vote? Let me see if I can – see, I could be over here and I could vote, right? Uh, uh Vote for your favorite. Yeah. There we go. And that is a true thing. Yes. <laughs> yes. Weasel Farmer got that one. <laughs> Switch to Microsoft Access, right? So that's not a bad one either, right? What does DAPI stand for? Data Application Programming. Amber. Okay, so you guys are putting correct answers in. Uh, they both. Oh, they neither get a point. <laughs> <laughs> Customer reports records are magically disappearing. How might you handle this? Check graph or delete records linked, which is the uh, use a magic wand and say abracadabra. <laughs> 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 right. So we're talking about over here on the left, we're talking about cascading deletes, right? Cascading deletes. So we need, we're going to need more people to vote in the future on this. So they, it's, once we do this, once people start to figure out how that goes, right? So, but uh, you know, a lot of times records are not being deleted at all, right? Um, so, uh, oh yeah, so there you go. You can see people who voted and not voted or whatever. It's great, so. An, I an item, a customer might try to store in a container field, but the process won't work. <laughs> okay, when I wrote the question, I was thinking about a folder. A lot of times, at least on the Mac, people will take a folder or directory and try to save it in a container, and that doesn't work. It doesn't work. You have to zip it first. But uh, file is read-only, no permissions, no record. Yeah, any of those sort of things. Um, adult beverage in the container. Um, yeah, people, well, yeah. I'm not going to go there. Ken, Ken gets a good – of course, Ken gets the high vote. <laughs> <laughs> and Christian Schmidt, of course, takes the very serious answer, right? So we we'll love that. Name your favorite custom function or loosely describe. Uh, see, that's what happened. We have to have the future. Single line formatter. Single line formatter. Single line format. Name your favorite custom function. I like the one that spells out words. <laughs> This is one of our very rare self, <laughs> self, uh, self, uh, uh, self aggrandizing uh, links here. So, yes, there we go. So, that's your, uh, if you have a budget. But we also had the question on here somewhere where uh, if you have no budget, what do you do? Right. So, <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay. So, uh, seven votes. They're both the same, right? So, there we go. All right. Oh, audience favorite. Okay, so the audience uh, – so the other players vote, but then the audience votes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Custom what app? Custom app, not what app, right? That was a typo.
It, that auto corrected because we didn't write what app in there or app what custom app what app what uh, custom app comma which would be a comma or punctuation and that's what that is yeah something uh, for first so okay now uh, Christian Schmidt should be taking a drink <sighs> all right explain to me file my <laughs> <laughs> I was, th this is one where Ellen the lobster would have come in here and just tore it up, right? Because uh, if you do FileMaker licensing all day, every day, you understand it. Um, but otherwise, for like normal humans, it should be simple. Part of the problem is it's legacy of all these old licensing programs in their minds and perpetual buying it once versus buying it annually, I think is what, uh, what people do with that, right? So, so yeah, pay the, uh, the, uh, Paying yearly is the simplest way, but there are other things. So, let's see. Now, what are we doing now? So, let's see. Now, go. round two is coming up. So oh, Round we'll have, two. Oh, we'll so these people. Couple. So, you're going to have these people are going to have more questions. Scott Kane, do, is he? If, Scott, can you see the screen now? You'll be able to answer questions now? They have to refresh. Are they going to get more questions asked? Right. They're going to get more questions, yeah. Right now, they're getting questions. Okay, everyone, get ready for your next set of questions. Okay, good. So now you kind of understand how this works. All right, write uh, your answers on your devices, okay? Any questions along the way from anyone? Michael, uh, Michelle Gravel. Michelle, good uh, Friday from Montreal. Tawa, Rick Fosnoff from Philly. Welcome, everyone. Uh, so the uh, all sorts of questions we put in here. Some are serious, some are less serious. Uh, clearly, they're, we're not really testing Christian Schmidt's technical skills because his technical skills are about as high as I've ever seen on a human in one location because he had to write that plug in and he knows all those functions like 6,500 functions so topic which you might want Nick Hunter to cover for the future <laughs> <laughs> oh man studio 69 is what we call what we call his broadcast studio where he's located uh, long story on that <laughs> People are like, uh, I don't know about that. It seems a little racy. Uh, what is your favorite FileMaker feature in the FileMaker platform? Recent feature. Uh, Im the import dialog was redone, right? That was nice. JavaScript integration. I think the JavaScript integration for me is a, is a good one in 19. There's been a lot of great new features in the 19 release, right? For those of you wondering about this, right? So... Um, whoops, that's the wrong button. How do I go back to my browser? Stand by. Browser. Browser. Where did I go? Oh, it's Slack. I want Slack. Hang on one second. I'm screwing this up. Stop. <laughs> there we go. JavaScript integration. So import feature one. JavaScript integration. Import feature. Yep. Have you ever been to an in-person FileMaker developer conference? Yes, but only virtually. Okay, well, that's the opposite of a uh, thing. Uh, yes, we'll fly anywhere to have a drink. Yeah, I think that's the thing. We want an in-person uh, conference, right? Um, so uh, there are a couple questions about DevCon that are going to... Uh, this is one of them. Player made prompt. Yes, all right. So Moki. Yeah, we got to get Moki to the real event. Monkey bro Oh yeah, well, well, Christian Schmidt. Shoot, I interview him there. Quiplash. Okay. So next up, name for me. What are the three? <laughs> Legal. Name for me three. <laughs> Case. Oh, case sensitive. Oh, that's clever. That's clever. Yeah, that's that's good. Clever. those are that, both that's, good. That's a good one. It's a legal case with sensitive functions. Got it. Go up, large up, only uppercase. Actually, though, both those are pretty decent. Yeah, Ken, TK, both of you guys get good on that. Yeah, those are both good. So the three uh, filter, substitute. Uh, what's the third one? Filter, substitute, and uh, there's a third one. Something. Uh, name <laughs> oh they're actually five now exact yeah that was the other one name the new get function and file make you would like to get nick on the phone <laughs> get, <ID. laughs> get nick on the phone that would be funny as hell 
right? But yes, uh, get IP of, well, I think it ran out of room there or chopped off or something. Get IP of server or something like that or whatever. Ah, see, there's Kyle, but you weren't in this, Kyle. So get up. But see, it's not necessarily uh, the the right answer. It's the it's the uh, it's the funny answer, right? All right, what's next? If you could build an add-on, what would it do? <laughs> Place all. Hey, I bet you a hundred bucks there's a solitaire add-on already. I know that someone has done a Pac-Man one. I've got to find. If someone sees the Pac-Man add-on, let me know. Or the webpage where we have that, and you could just like turn it into an add-on, which would be just hysterical. Solitaire. Oh, a lot of people like solitaire. <laughs> My wife does solitaire in bed. I'm like, honey, what are you doing playing solitaire? Like, why? Name a design mistake you have made in the last year in FileMaker development. I pushed a button on screen and <laughs> not using an anchor. Okay, that one I understand. Pushing a button on screen and ran out of text room, right? Ah, oh, it's too bad. Ah. Kyle's watching this while he's working. So I guarantee any of you watching, and if also you're taking a, a drink at the same time, right, then probably you're having a really difficult time being really productive right now, right? So because you're having the we have the drink. Not using an anchor, right? Yep, I like that one. That's a good one. Your customer call says the database is slow and the internet must be full. What do you do? <laughs> Check you the must internet. be standing on the cable. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. It's like the hose is not going. So it, if the internet connection is like a hose, then you're standing on the cable. You're blocking the water, right? Check That's clever. Full. They're both good. Check it's not full, right? Well, that, technically that's true. But for cle for clever clever answers, we have to give it to Monkey Bread. <laughs> Christian Smith's got a secret uh, secret uh, um, uh, comedian streak of personality. I had no idea. He's always so serious. I had no idea he was so funny. I think serious he, people always get you. All right, we're <laughs> we're two thirds the way through this. TK is ahead. Oh. Er, er, er. Oh, Monkey Bread pulls out in front. Whoa, Christian Schmidt. He's, a, he's, he's smart and he's funny. Oh, my God. The three lines will show you how we reveal jokes. Have fun with it. Okay, so you're supposed to have fun with these, I guess. Oh, okay, you guys have your – this is your last chance. So all of you, make sure you can put in your questions. All right, Moki's done. I'm glad you're here, Moke. Jake, all, everyone here, I'm glad you're here. I haven't welcomed everyone, but, you know, Peter Gaines and Canberra and Alex and Asian Chevy and Scott and Russell. So Tommy Delta 18 and Zulu 2 X-Ray. Um, so the next round, we want other people who are in Discord to play this, right? So Ken says this is fun. Yeah, it's the idea that for us, to, we can't really get together and drink, but if everyone has an adult beverage, especially if you don't have to drive home, what are the three view modes in FileMaker? Pa! Okay, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so no one actually went after good. the real answer. Build, panic, run. I kind of like the right. I swear to God that Kyle is is not in here. Uh, <laughs> that's got to be. So the, my question is, who wrote that on the left? So it's not Kyle. Maybe it's someone. Someone. Uh, someone having fun at Kyle at, with the Kyle's expense. That's funny. Who would make fun of Kyle here? Hmm. Besides me. Ah, David, bad dog. <laughs> <laughs> Mokey's is funnier, but I was wondering who. Yeah. See, audience favorite. Yeah. So they both went back and forth. That's great. A customer is still using FileMaker Five, and they want to upgrade to FileMaker Nineteen. List your concerns. They will be more track. They have less work. They won't call me. They're not running XP, fighter file than, than the Midwest. Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So all these are good. These are actually really educational. I'm not picking on anyone who's using FileMaker 5, but people who are on this broadcast are not old FileMaker people. It's not so much you're old, but the people that are not reinvesting. So they're never going to reinvest in the technology. They're not likely to reinvest in the future. And the only reason they're upgrading now is because someone put a gun to their head. Um, 
And so, uh, yeah, so it's, uh, I think both of them are, are great answers, right? They're not, uh, yeah. Name as many features and file making time as you, over the last year as you can. JavaScript editor, get layout, object ID, add-ons, SQ, perform. Wow, both of these are, okay, it's got to be Christian. Okay, so Christian Schmidt, you were on the right, right? Oh, data function, Linux only. See, I didn't even, I remember that vaguely, but I don't use a lot of Linux only. I don't put guns to people's heads about what servers they use. So that's a good one. Those are good. Yep, yep. JavaScript integration, get layout, object ID, add-ons, weasel farmer, Scott Kane. Wow, Scott. I'm impressed. Did you look that up? Did you look that up? Don't tell me you looked it up. <laughs> you can't be Googling this shit in real time, Scott. All right, name three ways to improve performance. No fields, hire Nick, buy MBS plugin. Hey. Delete half the records, buy new colored IMAX, watch, optimize, track. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Actually, uh, <laughs> actually, all these answers are pretty good, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Buy a faster computer with the M1. If you get the M1 computers right, the new IMAX, make sure you get FileMaker 19.3, the new FileMaker that's not out yet. It's supposed to be theoretically optimized for the M1. I haven't seen that yet. Holy cow, Scott Kane says he didn't look up those previous questions. He actually knew those. I'm impressed, Scott. I am impressed. Yeah, you can tell when both sets are pretty good. The, the answer split across the audience pretty good. But did you rock the scoreboard? Dun, dun, dun. That was the previous score. Now, oh, Monkey Bread wins it. Oh, my gosh. Christian Schmidt. <laughs> with a with a with a, he's actually smart and he has a sense of humor which i he must be to me, that's the, the biggest surprise of the day <laughs> the biggest surprise of the day all right so uh, all right agent oh, no. chevy yeah right on agent chevy see there we go awesome all right i'm gonna grab it Woo! what oh i was just excited agent chevy decided to join yeah i know it's awesome when people join and they participate so much better that way all right let me grab a fresh drink i'm running low on drinks pocket full of dreams <laughs> how do you get tips or suggestions from Claire Singer wants you to know about so a couple ideas on this one of course you could search on it but uh, we wanted to point out reminder everyone that Claris does have a blog if you do a search for Claris engineering blog um, you can find all the latest greatest tips um, historically they've not always done this but recently for whatever reason they started doing that um, and so very 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 useful to find that information uh, on the Claris blog. How do you know if a feature in FileMaker Platform is a preview feature and not final? Quick start experience is preview. Okay, that's true. So we talked about this in the book a little bit. Um, if you go into the documentation, um, uh, in the, in the, well, I'll just say documentation, listen, because I think there's another question on documentation. If you go in the documentation, you're going to see either no reference to the material at all, right? You won't see a reference at all, or uh, it will say it's a preview feature. And then, you know, it's a, uh, you'll understand that it's a preview. If it's fully documented in the documentation, the feature explains how it works, and it doesn't say it's preview, then it's final is how that works. Okay, so we're looking not seen on this live stream. That's kind of clever. I was trying to get one, so M calendar, we'd have to look that up. Once again, if you folks have suggestions about other topics that we should do during the, the live stream, uh, let us know, right? Let us know about that because um, like if you see a great demo from someone else, we're happy to show it here. And then Canberra's got some really nice pictures there on Discord. We'll have to show those here in a little bit. Damn, Canberra, I'm jealous. All right, Jake Sheely, M Calendar. I have to check that one out. AWS Extract Integration. We'll have to talk about the AWS. Brian, we're going to have you back on to talk about the AWS integrations again. Okay. What is the number one <laughs> item to remember when restarting a crash file? Making sure Jacob Taylor's phone phone number. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. No doubt, right? So what is the number one thing? Uh, always restore from a backup. Number one rule. J or Jacob Taylor's home phone number, if you can get him to take the call. Uh, yeah. <laughs> By the way, he's on vacation next week. For those of you who want to have a server emergency next week, it's Brian and uh, another guy, person we have is uh, 
going to be covering for us. So, um, John will be there. So, but, uh, so the, so the, the support B team will be on job next week and Jacob will be off. So just keep that in mind. To improve performance, we need to remove unsorted calculation. Name a technique to remove the unsorted calc. Truncate table, auto calc. <laughs> the one on the left is definitely correct. You can change to an automatic uh, auto entry calc, right? That's a good answer. Good answer. Because um, you don't want the unsorted calc or you turn into a number or text field and then you run a script manually or precisely when you want it to be updated. Uh, truncate table. Uh, so there are some real questions in here along with fun things right the trick is to find the right mix of fu stupid fun questions to real educational questions <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god so the boat's song, pretty good what's that song <laughs> the song by nick i said sit in the corner and cry as everything fades i mean <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. I don't know who that was. That's pretty good. Damn Ellen. Yeah, I know. You'll Ellen. find out in one second. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> song by Nick. Yeah, either both of them are pretty good. Oh, oh, uh, oh, Ken. Ken got the points. Nice. I'm fine with losing to that. Uh... <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. I don't, I'm trying to understand the one on the right. Hang on here. Web but, viewer like a spider. Yeah. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. damn. Oh, that's clever. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So that's the Black Widow action on the right. Yeah. Okay. Mate with this and then kill her spouse. Okay. Okay. You guys are, cl there's obviously people much smarter here than I am. Scott, I am Im <laughs> truly impressed, Scott. <laughs> truly, truly, truly impressed. Oh my God, this is great. How do you find FileMaker official documentation, right? That's for Nick. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so the answer is the help menu. The help is the official documentation. There are additional white, uh, white, white papers on our PDFs that are on the Claris website. So if you do a search for FileMaker, Claris FileMaker documentation, you'll, you'll go to this website, and then at the top documents on each will be the help. You can download the entire help and just dig through it if you want. But then there's also white papers on specific topics. So the help menu is the correct answer. It is the official. It's just not nearly as funny as going to FM Training and searching for Nick, right? So so that's one of those. <laughs> so, so the little grumpy face was over here, right? The little grumpy face is over here, right? I love it. So there we go. Dude, what is the current name? This is good. Uh, actually, those are all wrong, right? The current name is Beyond Engage, right? Uh, at least that's what I thought it was. They ran around and said Beyond Engage. Christian Schmidt, what's your take on that? What's, we need a ruling from the judge. Let's talk to the <laughs> European judge, right? The European judge says, uh, it's like when Je uh, Alex Trebek didn't know, we need an official ruling. Did he phrase it correctly? I'm pretty sure they call it, last year or the year before it was Engage, and it was Beyond, and now it's Beyond Engage, right? So that was one. Um, you guys behaved yourself pretty good with that. That was good. <laughs> you guys are bad. So bad. Um, okay, so number two on the right there, Jacob Taylor's on vacation. It's funny. I forgot that. I forgot some of these questions we wrote already, right? But um, – I would simply say that uh, you would want to make sure you snapshot your server or i.e. you have a rollback plan. So maybe you, you set up a different server. You don't erase over your main, your, your server. So if you have like, say, server 17 and you're going to install 19, you don't erase over the 17 server or install over the top of it because there's no rollback plan if it fails. Okay. This is a good one. Okay, I, I, without I, bugs. I, 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 okay, so I agree uh, definitely without <laughs> bugs. I totally agree with that. Once again, this is a loaded question. I keep repeating this because people ask me this question all the time. What sort of server should they run? And the answer is the kind of server that you're able to support. Mac or Windows or Linux. What kind of FileMaker server can you support? And, or if you have a reasonably beefy budget and you want to do Claris Cloud, you can do that one too. Right. So if you have five users, 10 users, the price is pretty much 
whatever. But if you get above that, then it's definitely a budget uh, item for you, right? Kind of funny stuff. Claris, who is Chris Boyer and Heidi Porter? Portage Bay and Richard is impressed. I'm actually impressed with board, both of them. Wonder Twins form a relational database. Nice. Yes, yes, yes. We put those in here uh, because Chris knew that we were going to play a game today, so he conveniently decided he didn't want to be anywhere near us when we did. Who are they? They actually – Oh, uh, he Chris was one of the founding members of Saliant, but then realized that they were going in a business direction he didn't approve of, so he exited. But he's been doing FileMaker – Quite a long time, not as long as me, but quite a long time, like 25 years or something, maybe close to 30 years. And uh, he started the Moyer Group, and then it became Saliant. And then, like I said, they bought him out, and Saliant does their own thing, and uh, Chris does his own thing. But he has a team of three or four or five. I don't know how many people yet. I don't get the impression it's very big, but it's uh, – there you go. So if you have zero money, what is the best way to learn FileMaker? Uh, zero money, you need to go to YouTube and, and hope for the best, right? Uh, we put that in there. The, our bundle is if you have at least a couple hundred bucks because I'm not going to give it to you for free unless you're a former military, retired military, and then send me your DD-214 and I will comp it to you. Poor Agent Chevy. We love Agent Chevy, though. At least he's trying. Audience favorite. Well, he got a couple points out of it. What's the next question? What is a control style? Where do I find it in layout mode? In the control room. Okay. Nice boutique tab. Yeah. That's clever on the right side. So the, the control style is a radio button, uh, a checkbox, a pop-down menu, drop-down list. Yeah. So there's like, or a text box, or a conceal. Uh, conceal, that's a new one. Conceal, right? So, yeah, so, uh, so yeah, I like Moyer and them. They're going to be here presenting with us pretty soon. So Chris Moyer and Heidi Porter, uh, they basically own and run uh, the, the Moyer group, right? That's when you hear me refer to Port Moyer. When you put their names together, it makes it more fun like that. If FileMaker file automatically opens without asking for a username, password, what is happening? Remember the password, oh, authorized. Actually, that was my initial answer I thought about was remember, uh, remember the password, right? It has it uh, memorized. Um, or it's set to auto enter, but then OAuth has been potentially used too. And, and that gets back to my question. If you'd already I'd authenticated OAuth and it bounced the website with the website flash and then you would go there, right? I guess. Yeah. So yeah, I think both those are true answers. Both of them are correct answers. Good job, Jake. Good job, Scott. Correct answers. When entering a FileMaker username password, which parts are case sensitive? <laughs> uh, so uh filemaker using password the username is not case sensitive the password is case sensitive that i don't think that's on the current test anymore but they used to be on the certification test back in the day and actually i don't think any of the parts are blurred well actually blurred out parts are moki yeah, technically not blurred out, but they're do they're dotted over, right? So that would be actually Moki's correct, but he kind of phrased it kind of in a funky way, right? Good. All right. Here we're going. So is everyone taking a drink? Oh, Moki takes the lead. Woo! So we'll have to take this back. Name the critical configuration changes to make FileMakers. FileMaker server installation backups, more backups. I really like on the right. You guys got to have to get away from Jacob as your answer for all server answers. Okay. I understand that he's awesome, but damn. Move to the cloud. You, Jacob, do it. Plug the server in. Okay. Backups, backups, more backups. I would make sure that you set the, uh, as a reminder, set the, uh, the uh, auto, the FileMaker server by default will automatically turn on databases even if they're crashed. You need to turn that off and set the default cache to a larger number than whatever it is. It's pretty small. And then add additional backups would be the three answers. I, I You know, when I do these, I was thinking about real answers, too, as much as the, we have the fun ones. Uh, three ways to sync offline. This is a good one. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, with the 
first one's like, yes, yes, yes. Uh, that's good. That's good. And then back up, back up, back up. Yeah, because you're going to like make a mess and destroy data. So, yeah, pretty good. So, um, yeah, specifically, I wanted to make sure that we, uh, uh, I, you know, I forgot Christian was going to be here, but I had, I had asked about uh, Joe Martin. I was trying to come up with a Joe Martin question, but I don't know Joe well enough to ask a question. We'll have to ask a Christian Schmidt next question next time. Yeah. Back up, back up, back up. Although, you know, to be honest with you, backups are never a wrong answer. I'd rather people back up than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no developer, no plan, no money, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See that's and, th and this is a legitimately good question, right? You know, um, you know, like if you had five thousand, like immediately you had five thousand concurrent users, and you were going to immediately be to move to ten to fifteen thousand concurrent users. Yeah, probably Claris is not the a good product for that. But um, yeah, if you had, uh, so there are answers here, right? Or you need to actively process, you know, twenty terabytes of data in real time or something like that, right? So it'd be like. Phew. You know, you need some supercomputer type stuff. Um, no developer, no plan, no money, right? Very good. Christian Schmidt kicked ass with that answer. Very nicely done. Click on that. Get out of here. <laughs> Name three functions you've never used. Get pumped, get high, get lost. Uh... <laughs> Both are good. I, 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 I am intrigued by what get pumped would do, right? So get high, get lost. I mean, I understand, but get pumped. I could see that actually being a function, right? So like, what is, you know. Moki, yeah, that's why Moki's here. Yeah. Look at all the people. Like, yeah, it's like, eh, 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 eh. nice job with pump with Moki. Nice. <laughs> then Jake Sheely's like, woo! There we go. That's nice on Discord. Discord go over here. So let's see who is one. Moki. Ah, oh, Moki for the win. And number two with monkey bread. Nice. That's what you need. A little pump that gets pumped. Oh, awesome. Well, everyone, that is uh, two games. It's two o'clock. We've spent our one whole hour here. I wanted to ask if you have feedback about this idea. Parts of this are good. Parts of it are kind of slow. If you have thoughts or comments on how we could make it better, please do that. I want Friday to be fun. I want it to be entertaining. Well, we're going to have very serious discussions the rest of the week. You know, it's mandatory that you and the embolism of the ravioli and blah, 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 right? So, um, so but if you have questions on thoughts about how to make this better, what we could do to make it better, um, obviously, if we had cash prizes, would be great. But then we'd have to figure out where that cash came from, right? So. Uh, time to chill on the beach at Canberra's done. So uh, welcome, Canberra. Have fun. It was fun. It was a little different. We need the lobster. Yeah, I know. So, um, yeah, it's a little different. But um, hopefully, get. yeah, I need honest feedback. So if you folks could take a couple minutes and give me some honest feedback, that would be really great, really useful. Um, send to support RC Consulting. Please do that. Tell me what worked, what didn't work. Um, I'm, I tried to keep some educational value into it as opposed to not being educational at all. And then I think Christian Schmidt was the biggest surprise today who actually has a has a sense of humor that we should recycle as often as possible. So thanks, everyone, for doing that. Um, yep. Cool. Uh, that's it for now. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Thanks.
stepped up the whole way. Calm, cool, collected the quarterback. Great read, good patience. More importantly, great job up front protecting this quarterback to give you a chance. And that's all you can ask for. Trying to rally down 10. 9.25 to go here in the fourth. Short motion by Amendola from the left. Brady takes the shot, goes down. Stands in, throws it left for Amendola. Reaches up and snaps a high throw and lands inside the 10. Rolling to the 9. Oh. Slightly behind him, but Danny makes the grab.